Hey, everybody! Eee! We're in great danger! Look at how happy she is, though, in the, in the bottom right. <laughs> That's the difference between internal and external voice. <laughs> oh. That's reassuring. <laughs> like right now. So we got a we got a world map here. Um, but don't worry, we got all the time in the world to choose. Uh, the the town is where we were, and Main Street is our first level. Oh uh, yeah. Um, there are only about like five uh, levels you can return to, and there a sixth as the final level. So it's not a not super much, but the levels are pretty big. Yeah, they're pretty sizable. Let's get ready for platforming! You just Let me explain. Subscreen. You have a subscreen. Uh oh, Shantae will become, become a whistleblower. <laughs> split, silky split ends of justice. Usually those two don't go together. Oh. Thanks, get, guy. Get out. <laughs> she was almost out of bird time, okay? Now we're really getting into it. Now we're shanting. Yeah, now we're really shanting. And the and the and this track that we'll play in the background is a good start. Yeah. Hello. Oh, it's Oh, what did you call them? Something bats? Tinker bats? Tinker bats, yes. Tinker bats. I love they have Tinker bat drop pods. So we got um, we got a lot of damage numbers here, like it's but it's honestly like it'll be between five and eight throughout the game. <laughs> it's not really <laughs> like this thing. There, there, there's, there's some magic spells that do a different amount of damage, but it's, it's mostly, mostly damage not this like. Good. Yeah, we won't be doing thousands of damage by the end of the game or something by oh. equipping gear. Um, no Diablo style or something. They're just ending in an M for million. Yeah. Oh. So Shante is a power of hair. Um, very powerful hair. I mean, you can move boxes. That's some strong hair. Um, we get hit quite a bit, but we we only have two hearts, but it's only t will only take like a quarter or something. It's it's fine. We're not playing in the super difficult mode. We get essentially like eight hit points. It's not so bad. And then we die pretty quick. Too fair getting whipped by like a, a whip of hair. At that point, it would suck real bad. I don't know that it would make you oh, die, yeah. but. If you've ever I really, really behind love this, someone this... with long hair, you know what it's like. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love picking up those gems. Uh, the bigger the gems are, the more currency they're worth. Uh, <laughs> I'm shocked. I, did, I, I just, I just, I just love this first level because this distract does, doesn't always play in this first level. Oh. Like, uh, if you come back to it, I mean. But it, in this first section here, it's just, uh, it will just, I don't know, it just. It's fun. Yeah, it it kind of it really sets the sets the mood pretty well. Yeah, I mean you know the main street is on fire, but we're just <laughs> having fun. <laughs> I mean, when you're Shantae, that's like your standard Wednesday. So yeah, she keeps a positive positive attitude. At the end of the day, she'll have all the cookie dough ice cream she can eat anyway. So. You ever kill yeah, three men in one much. stroke of your hair? I don't think so. Yeah, you can't really do that much defensively yet. Um, so I get hit quite a lot, but no problem. Yeah, they, they shower you with hearts, so just just go nuts. Get, get in there. Yeah. Teach them to fear hair. You get mad gem. Man, gems add up pretty fast, that's nice. Yeah, and, and, and there, there's ways to, like, infinitely um, grind gems, too, even. 
We're waiting for the track to end because it, it naturally ends here, like pretty much the same time you would reach the end of this uh, first section here. Okay. That's uh, pretty well done. Especially the first time through when you're a little slower, probably. That probably syncs up perfectly. Yeah. Thank you, safe man. Like the levels are are, are like divided into like gameplay sections. Yeah. So this is like the, the second section, really. Like has different track, a different mood. And you know, suddenly it's nighttime. So when they're like listed as distinct options in the uh, the world map, there's like sub levels, kind of. Yeah. Now for some platforming. Some, some Mega Man style platforming. Yeah, good old Mega Man platforms. The bane of my youth. You want me to plan like a second advance? It's not possible. Oh, hello. Hello, there's a chef lady there. <laughs> but we can't reach her yet without the abilities we have right now. Maybe when we're cool, we can get food. And this part of town. I don't, I don't think we're gonna, we didn't make it in time. This is like the bad end for the party. Yeah, I mean, the, the fire here is sentient, so it's, I don't think <laughs> we can do much. Yeah, when you hit, like, sentient fire stage of your apocalypse, just call it. Uh, so, like, the, 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 the levels has, like, um, just... A frustrating thing maybe about, about this game is that you can't do everything in the game in your first run through unless you're playing a new game plus. Yeah. So you, you, you're gonna have to come back and, and coming back to levels is not something I particularly like either. But it's kind of part of the course for a Metroidvania game. You unlock abilities and come back and do more stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's I mean, funny because usually we're, a lot of people are okay with it if you're going across one big like world map. But if they're mm -hmm. going back to like distinct level chunks, they they feel differently, which is weird. Yeah, yeah, especially when it's, when <clears throat> you're forced to do it, be to advance the the story. Yeah. It's, it gets a little. I think that's the probably the worst part about this game, which is still really really good. But and it can always be a little frustrating <clears throat> when you see stuff and you you don't know if you can't get to it because you don't have an ability, or if you mm -hmm. just haven't figured it out. That can be like I, I remember I wasted like. 20 minutes on a puzzle on one of these levels, and no, I just couldn't do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and 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 and, you, and once you have some new abilities, <clears throat> you might think like, oh, I'm gonna come back and explore a level, but then you still might not have everything, and you just kind of waste wasted the time a little bit. But I mean, that's the you know, given they made this on a Kickstarter budget, they are, they did as much as they could with the resources they had. So. Yeah, and but I think yeah, it's it's kind of a, a trapping of a. This genre, yeah. but not to worry. Like that, the stuff we can cut out easily in an LP form. Yeah, you guys at home get the best of both worlds. <laughs> and uh, now it's daytime again. That was just the like the nightmare hell version of the town, I guess. Yeah, I guess she went through town all night and this morning again. <laughs> and hello. <laughs> That's an entrance. You're. Tut, tut. Tut, tut. So as far as I can tell, Risky Boots is kind of the main antagonist of the series, yeah. or like kind of Shantae's rival. They've got pretty similar fashion tastes, so yeah, they're much like Goku and Vegeta, that means they're frenemies. Aw, oh, you jerk. Yeah, Jesus wants to rule. All of Sequin Land. Omni Organic, Partially Titanic, Ocean Optional, Tinker Slug. I like it! Or... He doesn't look like he volunteered for this job. this poop <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> well... It hates it when you call it that. That's one of those no going back nicknames. Yeah, that's that's a that's a pretty good joke. <laughs> Engage the poop dude. Yeah, so poop dude here is our first boss fight. Don't, don't call it that. Okay, so get with that part. No, we can't damage the boss directly because it's just too big of a slug. But if we ring the bell, 
An explodey barrel comes out. Nice, the explodey barrel. Yeah. <clears throat> and then launch barrel. Okay. Okay. And then it goes down, and we can hit it with our hair. Yeah, getting whipped by five feet of hair right in the eyeball will make you upset. Uh oh. Uh oh. Already at half a heart. Oh. Uh -oh. Death looms. Bell, where's our? There you go. Okay. Yeah, the bell takes a little bit to recharge, so you can't use it immediately after. You can't just speed run three bells and call it a day. The music in this game is pretty excellent. Yeah. Every boss fight should have some shredding power metal guitar. That's just a universal truth. But it's the first boss fight, so not too tough. Yeah. Is the rule um, of I think here? you can do it in three solid runs, but I think that the first one I miss a couple of hits, so we gotta do a fourth. Suck it, Risky. Yeah, there you go. Rest in peace, Poop Dude. I don't think he blew his volunteer. I feel bad for the slug thing. <laughs> Never to be seen again. Rest in <laughs> peace, Poop Toot. I'll always remember Poop Toot. Poop Toot, Poop Toot will live in my heart forever. Is Risky a dark elf, or is she just like grape flavored? I, I don't know if she's anything super special, <laughs> but like, I think she. I don't know if she's maybe also like half genie or something, or like I don't maybe not. Maybe she's half genie, but it's the other half. Regardless, she's the kind of villain who's like, Oh, oh no, I'm defeated. Have the thing. Yep. I will just run away. She plays by Saturday morning rules. It's very forthright. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice of her. <laughs> like the Joker, she knows it's a game. Yeah. What, what is this and, thing? But with that, we got our item. Um, we finished the first uh, world. Or level. Oh, okay. Oh. But most importantly, there's a reward for us oh. when we clear a world. Is it... is it skins? It's kind of skins, yes. Oh, right. It's a transformation. <laughs> oh, right. It's, it's the, the main mechanic of these games. Right. Yeah, the main mechanic of these games. We haven't talked about it at all yet. <laughs> um, so let's see here. A monkey? Behold, power yeah, I'm very of excited for it. <laughs> monkey dance. Do the monkey with me. So, so the mechanics of these games is you can dance to transform into different kind of things, mostly animals. So we dance, and now we can select a monkey. This is the real power of belly dancing. And then we transform into a monkey. Yeah. Monkey. She's so cute. And, of course, uh, if, if we're a monkey, we have different abilities, like we can climb walls, and we ch can jump much higher, and we're much smaller. Monkey can't fight, but monkey can platform. So this is also like the, the part I talked about before, like how this is my soul game, how, and how it's super similar to a game I created before. Yeah. Um, like that game, you played as a monkey, and could unlock other animal characters to switch between. <laughs> and so that really gels... Um, with this game too, where like not only is the first character a monkey, but all the, some of the animals have very similar abilities to the animals um, in my game. You just uh, and... it resonated. Just moved a step, one extra step of half genie before monkey. Yeah, and, <laughs> and aside from that, there's, there was also the, the, the gem collecting was very similar. Like like the the bright art style was very similar. The um, <laughs> The platforming, the mechanics of Metroidvania kind of genre was also very similar. It's, it's like, it's, this game is made for me. <laughs> it's like you went to the, the past and made a game for yourself, kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's like this game, uh, this game felt like the complete and better version of what I had created. And it just felt great. Also, apparently we're getting fired. Uh, yeah. We, we let the town burn, so the town mayor came and fired us. <laughs> I love that there's enough half genies around that it's just standard to have one as your sheriff, basically. 
negligible fish smell. Sign me up. Cancel rent. <laughs> Surely a super science mega weapon can never go wrong. Never. Just go be helpful. Way to get blown off by your uncle. Go. Oh, poor Shante. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but with that, the, the first act is done and we are, we're back into town and um Yeah. So that'll that'll kinda be the the journey for each each act the is cycle. like cleaning up, checking the town, cleaning up previous levels with new abilities, and then going to the new level. Yeah. It's got a good rhythm to it. Alright, so that, that'll be, that's uh, hopefully a good look at Shantae here. Um, I know you played a little bit before Pods, so like uh, for, some, for other people who haven't played it before, I mean, yeah. It looks good, it so, sounds good, it plays good. Everybody enjoy Shantae. Yeah, it plays, it plays super good. It's like, I think it's 60 frames per second. It's so smooth. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, yeah, it's great. <laughs> also, you're having a seizure, apparently. I'm sorry. Also, I'm having a hair seizure. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, everybody. See you later.